quarter to eight in the morning and just got up heading down to quickly get some breakfast very quickly because I really want to get out of here in the next half hour. It is really important to get to a Disney theme park well before it opens. So I want to get there 9.30, opens at 10, which means... All right, time to practice my French a little bit. Un billet à l'heure pour Disneyland, s'il vous plaît. Let's see if it works. In the end, I just got my ticket from one of the machines. They don't speak French, but they do understand English. The station was a bit bigger than I thought. I got quite lost, but I've made it to one of the metro stations. The train's just arrived, so it'll be the first time I'm boarding a Paris metro train. Alright, looking for Spider-Man. Apparently he shows up at 10am somewhere around here. Haven't seen him yet. Just got out of Armageddon. That was probably Warner Brothers Movie World uh, level quality ride. Uh, probably the highlight was seeing French dubbed Michael Clark Duncan at the start. Seeing him speaking French was uh, hilarious to say the least. I'm off to try and find Moana now. See if I can get a bit of a photo with her. So unfortunately I lost my phone the day after I went to Disneyland. Now I did manage to get some of the footage from the start of the day from the cloud which was uploaded before I did lose my phone and at the end of the day there is some footage I took on my iPad uh, once my phone had run out of battery. Now what that means is there's nothing from the middle of the day so at this point you're going to see it skip towards the end of the day. If that doesn't make a whole lot of sense then I just wanted to include this explanation in here. It also explains why it took so long to upload this. I was really wanting to make sure that I could get as much footage and photos as I could from that day, whatever I could salvage. Going in for a second run, it's a 25 minute wait. Stuck in the queue for a rock and roller coaster, the ride has gone down and the engineers are trying to work on it. So it's been about five or 10 minutes, some people have left the queue, but now I'm gonna stick here and wait it out. So after about a half hour wait, the ride is working again. They made an announcement and there was a big applause amongst everyone. Um, we did lose about half an hour, but I reckon about 10 or 15 minutes worth of people left. I know I said two times was enough, but it's a 10 minute wait, so I'm going to do a third. That was excellent. I know I said I'd only do three times. But the wait time's now only five minutes. I've got to be quick because Season of the Force is on and they've got the evening show in five minutes. So the Star Wars show was uh, pretty cool, it was like the daytime one, but it also had this light show a little bit like Vivid, a little bit of fireworks and pyrotechnics, and now that that's over, uh, it's still a five minute queue, so how about a fifth ride on Rock and Roller Coaster? As tempting as a sixth ride on Rock and Roller Coaster would be, um, I've got one or two rides I still want to do over at Disneyland, so I'm going to call it a night here at Walt Disney Studios. Ended up being a lot better than I expected for what's supposedly the worst Disney theme park in the world. Um, it actually does have quite a few good rides, so I'm not sure if they've been added recently or if it's just I like the rides that they have or there was very few people and I got to ride Rock and Roller Coaster five times. Who knows? So to the Walt Disney Studios, a fond farewell. I'm sure I'll be back. The sun is setting, dusk is approaching, so I thought I would check out Mystic Manor, the French version of the Haunted Mansion. But the scariest thing of all is, it's currently down for the moment. So, I'm gonna head off and come back a little bit later and hopefully get a chance to ride it and see how it compares to the US versions.
Got to say, I've spent less time in the Disneyland park compared to the Studios park, particularly compared to what I thought I would, mainly because a lot of the rides I wanted to go on in the Disneyland park aren't open. Pirates of the Caribbean. Closed for maintenance. Star Tours. Also closed for maintenance. I'm at the Phantom Manor and it's almost completely deserted. I don't think I see anyone here. Really sets the mood. It says it's a five minute wait. I reckon it's just a walk on, which is good. Cause I really wanted to go on this. And I'm, uh, I ran all the way here just in case. So the ride is so empty. There's literally no one else here. I went and opened the door and was told, please wait outside. Uh, we'll get you when we're ready. <laughs> uh, but it is a really nice view from here of the castle. Unfortunately, you can't really see it very well, but you got this great view of me, which, you know, what more do you want? Probably not me. Yeah, Phantom Manor was good. It had just the right mix of things I'm used to in the Haunted Mansion with some new things. In particular, there was a lot of skeletons. It felt a little bit like Pirates of the Caribbean in parts, which is probably a good thing given that Pirates is closed at the moment. And then also a Wild West scene and a few scenes that are in the regular American Haunted Mansion, which weren't here. So great, particularly given it's only a, a five minute wait. Now it's off to It's a Small World, see if I can ride that. That's probably going to be the last ride of the night. Fantasyland's closed, so I can't do It's a Small World. But Indiana Jones is still open for one last ride. That was really good. I feel hot and cold at the same time. I liked it so much. I want to do one more ride because it's literally a walk on and then it's the fireworks. I have such a cold sweat after the Indiana Jones ride and the fireworks are starting. So I'm running over to at least catch some of it because that means it's the end of the night here and then it's time to go home. Disney theme parks keep on outdoing themselves. That was really amazing. And I really hope I can come back one day. Till then, from Disneyland Paris, I'm out. See you next time. No!